Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech and welcome to another episode of Android Tips. Today, I'm going to quickly take you through five apps that I feel help enhance the multitasking experience on Android devices. So let's get to the list. First up, we have Swipepad. It's basically a launcher panel that's compatible with any third-party launcher. It's got something called as pads and hotspots. A pad is basically a pane that you get to see when you swipe in from the sides. You can choose where to swipe in from to get to the pad, like the top left corner, bottom left corner and so on. And every such spot is called as a hotspot. Once you swipe in and get the pad, you can drop the circular pointer on one of the empty portals where you can set the action like a shortcut to a contact, a music playlist or even the app drawer. From then onwards, you can swipe in from within any app to get to the pad. In the free version though, you're allowed to have only one pad. To have more than one, you need to get the paid version. Apart from that, you can change the appearance and style by going into look and feel. Here you can change the themes, enable or disable haptic feedback, set background transparency and so on. Next up we have Flinks. These are similar to chat heads from Facebook's Messenger. Flinks lets you open web pages from different apps. For example, launch Google Now, open this link, and tap open in Flinks. It opens in the background. And then you go to Twitter, open another link, and it opens in the background along with the other one. Flinks removes ads on its browser and also reduces data consumption by optimizing blogs and articles. However, if you still want to view the original page, you can tap the globe icon. Apart from these features, you can increase the font size and change the background color. Flinks also shortens any URL you choose to share. To close all these pages at once, just drag and drop it at the bottom of the screen. The next app we have is the Edge Launcher. This lets you access quick settings, favorite apps and more at one place. There is not much clutter, it's all simple and elegant. You can have a maximum of 4 quick settings, 5 recent apps, 5 favorite apps and 5 favorite contacts. If you want to have more than that, you're gonna have to get the paid version. Swipe from a predefined position on the Edge screen and a card pops up. On one side you have the options to open the app drawer, go home and simply close the card. On the other side you have the music controls. You also get an option to hide these. The recent apps are displayed above your favorite ones. You can even change the appearance of the card in the app, like the card width, icon size, text margin and so on. With that, we get to the finger gesture launcher. This lets you draw gestures to open apps and more. I've seen this on custom ROMs and I felt it's a pretty good add-on to talk about in this video. Enabling it will bring a small circular icon onto the screen, the size of the icon can be changed, and the position of the launcher can also be set. The first thing you need to do is tap on the plus button, choose an action, then draw a gesture for it, thrice. The accuracy is good, it can recognize your gesture quite easily. In my experience, it's even able to differentiate gestures with slight differences. Impressive. The last one on today's list is OmniSwipe. This app shares certain similarities with the Edge Launcher and Swipe Pad. OmniSwipe looks great, enhancing the overall app experience. First off, there are a lot of themes to choose from. You can set the list of apps you want to be notified by through OmniSwipe. The first thing you do is set the trigger method and the trigger area position, like bottom left, middle left and so on. By swiping in from the corner, you can see three different tabs. One for recent apps, one for favorites and one for toolbox. Apart from these, you get to see a circular icon hanging from the top. Pulling it down will bring you news and weather information. Tapping on one of them opens up the web page. You can read and close articles right away, without deviating from what you've been doing. The paid version allows you to have custom tabs and remove advertisements. So I guess that's it for this video. The links to these apps will be given in the description below. If you have any questions, do feel free to post them on the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, this is Sundar from C4E Tech leaving for the moment. Have a nice day.